In today's video, I'm going to be using the Omnitrix to play as Heat Blast. I'm also going to be looking around for alien DNA so I can unlock even more aliens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we need to head over to the weather station. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but in the last episode, we defeated Forever Knight in his massive castle here, and we unlocked Heat Blast. I didn't really test out his ability, so we might as well do that to start. We have a fireball, obviously. It looks like we also have a flamethrower ability that I can hold down. Yo, the animations look so dope. And it looks like we also have a takeoff ability. Wait a second. Okay, so I can't necessarily fly around as he blast, but I can take off and then I can glide. Dude, it looks so sick. Um, I may have accidentally started a forest fire. So we're gonna go ahead and start making our way to the weather station before anybody comes and finds out what I did. Let's go ahead and morph back into, uh, you know, Beck Bro Ben 10. And we're just gonna go ahead and go to Accelerate. Accelerate is easily the fastest alien that I have, especially because, uh, you know, Heat Blast can normally fly, but I guess in the Minecraft version, he's not as good as flying. There's also Stink Fly, which we haven't unlocked yet. And I'm not sure if we'll get Stink flies dna in today's episode oh i see an omni token ladies and gentlemen if you guys do notice any of these throughout today's episode please go ahead and leave a comment down below with a timestamp because i've already missed a few i went back to the ranch and i'm pretty sure i got that one or at least the one that you guys were talking about but if i collect all of these i'll get three extra aliens so i definitely need to collect all of them Let's go, we got another one. Not sure, ladies and gentlemen, but the weather station might be over there on the island. I'm not sure if I have any alien that's equipped uh, to travel in the water, but I guess we're gonna figure it out because I'm pretty sure the magical compass tells me to go this way, so I gotta do it. And <laughs> I just jumped immediately in the water. If I use my boost ability, oh my gosh, I'm actually fast enough to just run directly over the one block gaps. That is so cool. All right, well, we made it to this water jungle. It's more like a water jungle gym. Okay, so we're gonna have to just take it kind is slow. I don't think I'm able to fall into the water here. So what I'm thinking is I might as well go back to a human form and then we can morph into heat blast and then we can just fly. Let's use our Omnitrix and then we can morph into heat blast. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I should be able to use my takeoff ability and then we can glide, which will make it just like a little bit faster. I just don't want to accidentally fall into the water, especially as heat blast, because I'm pretty sure my entire body would turn directly into obsidian. But it looks like the magic compass is telling me this is the right way. And I think heat blast is the only one that can actually get across all of these boats. Okay, we're going to go like this. I also think cannibal could probably jump. I don't want to test it though, because this is going really, really well as heat blast. And I haven't really used heat blast yet. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but heat blast is probably... Probably my favorite Ben 10 alien, either Heat Blast or Alien X, but I really am not sure if we're gonna unlock Alien X in this series. Okay, what happens if I jump and then, all oh, right, well, I'm safe. So Heat Blast can still survive in the water. My life flashed before my eyes there, ladies and gentlemen. I thought it was over for me. Okay, so I can't jump and take off. What I could do is just stand and then I can use my takeoff ability. They really should put in an instruction manual with the Omnitrix. Can I run into it? Okay, yeah, so I can kind of run into it and it uses my momentum and pushes me forward. Uh, can I make this jump? Let's, I mean, we're gonna find out in three, two, one. Come on, dude, it's gonna be close. Okay, well, we're gonna say that I made that. I'm not really sure. I mean, like, I'm not super worried about falling into the water anymore, but like, I'm, I don't think it's a good thing for Eat Blast. I mean, my entire body is literally made out of molten lava rocks. Actually, yeah, let's go back. We're gonna morph into Humongosaur. A lot of you guys are commenting that I have not used Humongosaur enough. Okay, what the, it's pretty, whoa. Wait, wait, am I dying from the cold? Hold on, hold on. Okay, I actually need to be heat blast in order to not die. Oh, that's so much for a humongosaur. I guess we'll have to test him out later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking for the weather station. Looks like the magical compass is telling me to go this way, but I'm also gonna be on the lookout to see if we have any Omni tokens. Any Omni tokens inside here? No Omni tokens. That means I don't need this place, and therefore we're just gonna burn it down. That'll teach you building not to give me Omni tokens. It looks like a weather tower over there, so I'm gonna guess that's probably the weather station. <laughs> I just like, every single time I jump, it just makes a grunting noise. <laughs> I don't know why, but it cracks me up. This has to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take off and try to check out what's on the roof. Is anybody home? Oh, yeah, I'm the dog. It was worth it. Let's go down here and then see if there's anybody inside. Hello? Oh, wait a second. Who are you guys? Solar tween. Polar tween. You infuriate me. Well, you infuriate me. Always ruining our plans. Our plans? These are your plans. I wanted to hack into the power grid, but no. Let's use the alien DNA to manipulate the weather instead. It's a spectacular plan. Those fools will be utterly confused when the forecast comes in. Shh. 
You shush. Uh, guys, guys, I'm literally, I'm here to, like, put an end to whatever's happening right here. You guys do look really cool, and you kind of look like Transformers, so I, maybe we could be friends. We may fly endlessly, but you can't stop the Twain Twins. Well, I would like to see about that. I've taken down everybody else so far. Max said these readings are haywire, kid. Magnetic machines seem to be all over the island. You need to disable them. Find them and see if you can disable them. Okay, I need to melt the ice around the island to disable their machines. I can't even fight these two yet. I can try. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, maybe. Maybe I can't. My little flamethrower. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, whatever they did, they have force fields around their body. So I need to disable the machines first. Don't worry, I will be back for you, uglies. They're actually really handsome looking robots, but I can't tell them that. Okay, so around the island, we need to find and disable the machines. I think I see one of them up here. Let's go see. Okay, okay. So I think this has to be one of them. As Muth said, you can use heat blast fire to melt the ice. All right, let's use a little bit of flame there. Oh my gosh, it worked. So it's not just good for causing forest fires and burning down houses. Now I'm gonna have to use my takeoff ability in order to just do a little bit of heat blast parkour. There we go. Let's take off again. It looks so cool. And we made it. What is this? I can use heat blast fire to disable the machine. This is the weirdest looking machine. I thought this was a little magnet man and he was dancing. All right, well, let's go ahead and use a flamethrower in order to disable the machine. All right, well, we put it out with the flames. Let's go see if we can find the other machines. <laughs> just gonna jump around. There we go. Wait, what is it? Polar bears? Dude, I am not going to be a guy that, that, that kills a polar bear with flamethrower. Polar bears, don't worry. If you... Okay, stop. They're literally coming right after me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna fight you. I love animals too much, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like there's more ice up ahead, so there has to be another one of the machines. Let's go ahead and try to snipe with a little flamethrower. Oh my gosh, bro. This thing has some range. Hello? Dude! Okay, okay. Wild dogs, really? They're, they're shoving every single animal that I love, and they want me to fight it. I'm not doing it. I'm not fighting the dogs, ladies and gentlemen or the polar bears. I'm just going to disable the machines and I'm just going to keep on moving. Keep on moving and grooving, bop my way to the top. Uh, okay, okay. Excuse me, little guy. I didn't realize it explodes when I use takeoff. I didn't mean it, ladies and gentlemen. I swear, I did not mean that. Hopefully nobody saw anything. I wonder if I could use a fireball on this. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so fireball, like, it kind of works. Okay, wait a second. It works pretty well. It just takes two fireballs. So it's like two fireballs for the price of one flamethrower. There we go. Whoa. Max said, hey, all the data looks normal again. Great job. Now bring those two twins to justice. Done. Don't worry, Uncle Max, I'm all over it, especially because I know I will get another alien if I can defeat them. All right, let's go ahead and burn through the ice. And now we should be able to use the path to wrap all the way back around to the weather station. It looks like there's a small city over there, and up there looks like something pretty important. So when I'm looking for all the Omni tokens in a future episode, we're definitely going to have to come back here. Bro, why are all the dogs so angry, man? I didn't even do anything. It has to be the twins, ladies and gentlemen. They have to be making all of the winter dogs angry. We made it back, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully the twins are in the same spot. Knock, knock. Guess who's here? Justice. Now look, they ruined all our, my hard work. It was a brainless idea anyway. You're brainless. Take that back. I've always been the smarter one. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Let's agree on one thing. Let's get out of here. Wait, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. What the heck, dude? Pick up the DNA. Wait, they, they're gone. They're gone. They left the DNA. Dude, I really thought I was going to have to fight them, but I'm really glad I didn't because they literally look like Power Rangers combined with Transformers. And I was not trying to fight them. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I would have won, but like at the same time, I don't really know. We'll never find out though. I did get the DNA and we unlocked Jet Ray. Max said, head towards the desert town. Hopefully you won't run into any trouble. Well, that makes it seem like I might run into some trouble. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to check out a brand new alien, Jet Ray. Let's see. So this is Jet Ray. We have one, two, three more aliens to unlock. Comment down below who you guys think they are. And really? It looked like the snow stopped, so I no longer have to worry about freezing out here. So let's go ahead and transform into Jet Ray. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please listen to him when he jumps. <laughs> it sounds so scary. It's like, it's like, I don't even know what it's like, dude, but it makes me feel weird. Okay, so we have a couple different abilities. We have lasers. Oh, okay, okay. So it's more like, not like a constant laser stream. It's more like just one shot of lasers from my eyeballs. Would you chill, bro? We also have a flight ability. Yo, 
No, no way. Okay, so we can now fly. This is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to make traveling so much easier. Wait a second. I can also pick up entities. Let's try to pick up a polar bear. Hello, polar bear. Hello, buddy. Can I pick you up? Can I pick? No, okay. You might be just a tad bit too big. Polar bear is too thick to pick up. Let's try this. Nope. All right. I'm no longer going to try to pick things up that are hostile. So let's go ahead and fly. Now we can head towards the desert town. I'm just glad, ladies and gentlemen, I can get off of this icy tundra. Actually, hold up. This is going to make it so easy to find some of the Omni tokens. Let's go check out the rest of the ice mountain over here because there has to be some Omni tokens just kind of scattered around. And then I could use them in order to unlock even more aliens. I knew it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so there's one directly up top here. Got that one. I have a strange feeling that there are probably more of the tokens inside some of these houses. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, I need to go ahead and rescue Ben and Gwen and also collect all the DNA. So I'll probably have to come back here in a future episode and then collect every single Omni token. But before I leave, let's go down here. We're going to collect this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we can start making our way to the desert. I'm not entirely sure where it is. If I had to guess, it's probably on the opposite side of this ginormous map. See, ladies and gentlemen, directly ahead. Wait, can I shoot lasers while I'm flying? Yo, I can. That's actually super cool. Wait, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is the ranch. Just to double check, I'm going to go and make sure that I didn't miss any other Omni tokens here. I know you guys commented that I did. I think I got that one, but like, I'm not 100% sure. Bro, I just realized this dude runs so weird. Look at his arms, man. He's re <laughs> he's running like Naruto. He's literally doing the Naruto run. Oh, I see one up here. I got it, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Okay, I hope that was all of them. Huh? If I did miss another one here, please go ahead and leave a comment down. Down below. Wait a second. They got the they got the Egyptian pyramids here. This place just has everything, doesn't it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The desert town. 